Hello everybody and welcome or welcome back to another video. If you are new here, my name is Jules and on this channel I like to share with you guys all of the things that I find interesting about art and the things that I'm working on, um, often specifically focused on colour as the channel name suggests. And also occasionally I will uh, show you <laughs> the actual art that I've been making. Um, and today is one of those days, it's been a while since I did a sketchbook tour. I've been watching quite a lot of sketchbook tours recently. I kind of go through phases of watching sketchbook tours, not watching sketchbook tours tours and I've also been sort of in a bit of a struggle lately with how I've been using my sketchbook not knowing what to do um, and I was thinking you know maybe there's something that's changed in the way that I've been using my sketchbook and wouldn't it be good to go back to uh, a while ago and have a look at what I was doing in my sketchbook before and maybe get some new ideas that way so Hopefully uh, that makes sense, and I mean, maybe this is also the video for you if you've been feeling a little bit stuck lately. Maybe there's something in here which gives you an idea. It's certainly not a polished sketchbook. I don't do finish work in my sketchbooks, uh, spoiler alert. Um, it really is just for, for the process. In fact, I do very little finished art, full stop. Um, but I'm here to tell you that that's okay. It's not my job to make art. Art is something I do for myself something you do for yourself probably and uh, there's no reason to put pressure on yourself for that. So without further ado let's get into the sketchbook. This is my fourth big sketchbook. I do believe that the other three are already on the channel in my uh, sketchbook tours playlist so if you like uh, sketchbook tours please do give the video a like and consider subscribing because I would love to do more videos like this uh, for you guys and also check out those other videos as well and maybe tell a friend who might be in a bit of an art block or something. Um, and really appreciate all of the support you guys give me on the channel. But um, so sorry for the plug, but it really means a lot to me to see this little uh, this little community grow. This is a Stillman and Burn uh, Gamma series uh, sketchbook. So it has cream coloured paper, as you can see here. The paper is this cream colour. It has like a little bit of a tooth to it, which is not easy to show when you're using a ring light. But hopefully. You can believe me. It's 150 grams, I believe, the paper, so it's like quite thick, but not uh, not so thick. So it has like a decent number of pages in it. And I really, really fell in love with the sketchbook uh, the first time I used it. Stillman and Burn is an excellent company for sketchbooks. Their paper is really good, and they have uh, a type of paper for everybody: cream paper, white paper, smooth paper, rough paper, thick paper, thin paper. That was a lot of papers, but yeah. So that's my recommendation anyway. Not sponsored. But I just really love the sketchbooks. So I was using the sketchbook in 2022, so this was two years ago now, almost, from um, the 11th of May to the 11th of September. So that's actually only like four months, I think, from June, July, August, September, yeah, four months. Um, so that's actually quite big, uh, it's quite big for me <laughs> to fill a sketchbook that quickly. And I remember that I wanted to do something nice on the first page, so I did these uh, little rats. <laughs> or possums? I think they're possums. Anyway, I think they're really cute, they're kind of like a yin-yang uh, kind of idea, so one of them has uh, sort of like this dark shading at the nose, feet and tail like fading into white, and the other one has um, a white nose feet tail fading into the black and I think this did, I did this with a black wing uh, pencil and you can see that it has transferred onto the inside of the cover a little bit but that doesn't bother me. I still really like this concept. I think I could probably improve it some way now by just improving the composition. Maybe entwining the tails could be really good but I still I still like this and this says I think this says don't despair in Latin. So if that ain't a motto I don't know what is. I would get that tattooed on me for sure. So moving into something a little bit more colourful, this was back in a phase when I was super into my monthly colour palettes. I also have a video um, for that. I will try and remember to link to it, but otherwise, please do look for the video that's titled something like, this project took me two years or something. For two years, I made a monthly colour palette, and I did a bit of an analysis for you guys at the end. Um, so this was my colour palette for May. And I really, really love these colours. So I did these kind of fun noodles blending together colours. This is a motif that has been in my other sketchbooks. Also these kind of overlapping pe pebbles to explore the relationships between the colours and what they look like when they're overlaid. I was working a lot with coloured pencil um, at this point in time. And then also these sort of like blobby interlocking shapes. 
and I covered it with this piece of tracing paper and held it down with washi tape so that it wouldn't transfer. And then I took this kind of idea from the noodles of the different coloured lines and drew this puffin. This is the Latin uh, name for puffins and I had a really good time drawing these lines and basically splitting them up so that the lines were all different different colours. I think this is a really really cool graphic effect. So there's quite a few studies I think in this book. I did have a I had a quick flick through so it's not a complete mystery tour for me because <laughs> I couldn't remember what was in here but I, I still don't remember everything. Uh, however this I have referenced from Pinterest. This was a Korean artist I believe or designer and I was testing out um, a new pen that I had and using it with this fountain pen ink uh, and I really really liked just the, the idea of composition and exploring the layout of objects within a space. I think this also comes up later in the sketchbook as well. Um, so really really love these patterns. And then these are the patterns that you get if you... Um, they're, they're, I think they're like something related to sound waves. I'm not a physicist but they're called this. They're called like Chladney patterns or something um but my eyes my understanding is that if you put like powder on a surface um and then play a frequency through that surface these are the patterns that form you might want to look on the wikipedia page for that rather than trusting me but i found them really really striking i love these patterns and i really liked that they are very fuzzy looking and so i think it's really cool to do it with color pencil and to try and like blend it out so that you end up with these fuzzy looking edges with mixed success i would say but I really like these these patterns. Ooh, more tracing paper. So here I was just experimenting with parallel lines. I think I saw that like a good drawing exercise to do is to take a pen and just to try to draw parallel lines as best you can. Um, so I was experimenting with that in a few different shapes and I think these all look really cool. And then cloud studies. So I did like a few different versions here looks like. Looks like I did a version from just in graphite and then a version using some sort of hatching and probably the same pen that I did the studies on the other page in and then something in colour. I really really like these colours together so much, so much that I even drew them as little balloons as well. Look, I think that I might, this might have been a reference from um, Autumn Chu's uh, Discord server. I think it's Art Artu. Um, yeah, should look her up on Instagram. She has an amazing. She does amazing work, and her Discord uh, community is really really nice. So here I was planning some kind of design. I can't remember if I. I can't remember where the final piece is now. I did this. Did turn this into some kind of final design. But I was testing out different styles of lettering. I really do like lettering, and I find it. Very satisfying to play around with the design and layout of text. So here's just a few examples of, of styles of text. Um, and then moving on from the styles of text, I think I went with this one in the end, which was kind of one of the second idea I had, or one of the first ideas, uh, to be honest, which is often the way, but I wanted to explore a few. And I decided I would go with these colours, this sort of very blue, red, yellow, colour palette. I actually really like this idea of the letters with like the little noodles going through them. And then I think I drew like a little swatch on this tiny little index card. I swatched out this coloured pencil and then I drew a little lady <laughs> under it so it's like her hair is this is the swatch and I put a little bow on it. That's really cute. Oh that's a fun fun idea. Um, and then also in the sketchbook, I was uh, I, I was doing a lot of colour palette planning at the time. Like like I said, I had this monthly colour palette project and so I was going through all my colours a lot and thinking about colours together a lot. And so I was doing a lot of swatching on these, on these index cards and I remember I had like a pile of them lying around at some point and I thought, oh, I don't want to throw them away because there's a lot of cool inspiration here and like colour palette ideas. Um, and so I just glued them in to my sketchbook so I can come across them later. This was another set of Pinterest studies. I think, actually, I think just about all of these were from Pinterest. I mean, maybe not some of these chickens towards the end, but these ones were. So this is, again, I'm really obsessed with the idea of exploring very simple, blocky um, compositions and how it impacts the interpretation of design. I really like this one with like the sloping line like this and like the little blob. For some reason, that one really appeals to me today. 
I think it's interesting to come back and look at these and pick a composition, especially if you're doing something abstract. And then chickens. <laughs> Man, I love drawing chickens so much. I think that I took this, this was the original one, I think, and then I think I turned it into, used a similar style, and I was copying a few styles from Pinterest, and um, yeah, I think I took this one and turned it into something else, like another design. I think I might have done that digitally, actually. I, I really love that. I would totally put that on a t-shirt or a mug or something. So I was learning how to use a uh, watercolour. It says mid-May 2022. So I had these little bits of uh, watercolour paper and I was messing around with my watercolours that I had at the time, which were not really that many, I don't think. And I was just trying to experiment with ways that the paint interacts with water and how colours blend together and how you can use them. Um, and then also testing um, colour pencils on different types of paper, so different brands of pencil, how they how they feel, how they blend, how they layer. And again, I, these were all bits of paper that I like stuck into my sketchbook afterwards. So, I mean, you could consider this a waste of the paper, <laughs> like in the sketchbook, but I think actually, you know, this is evidence of work that I was doing at the time, you know, and there's no reason why I should have to draw on the paper all the time, though I really do like the texture of this this uh, gamma paper. I actually think I actually have a, a blank, smaller version of this sketchbook. It, this sketchbook is quite big. I think it's 24 by 30 centimeters, so really quite big. This was experimenting with some patterns that I found from the New York Public Library. You can't read that because the camera is blurring it, but yeah, so some kind of public repository. I think it said they were diaper patterns, but I'm really not sure. <laughs> well, that could possibly mean, um, but yeah, experimenting with the different colours and shapes. I really, really like this kind of like almost folk arty graphic design. And then in here, some tiny, tiny little thumbnails. You can see I was doing some sketches from Map Crunch. And I guess I was doing this just to get like compositional ideas. I don't know why I did them so small when the page is so big. Like I could have done them way bigger, but you know, whatever. I quite like them. They're cute. Uh, and this was me. This must have been the end of May. So it was the 29th of May. So I was I was thinking, damn, I'm going to have to come up with a new colour palette soon. And I was testing out colour uh, color palette ideas for June. So this might be the end of this nice orange, green, teal colour palette. And I did this page to uh, switch over from my old colours to my new colours. Um, I much prefer these colours to these colours. I'm really not that much of like a warm red, pink person. Um, but you know, it's, it was fun to play around with and important to try out all the colours. So this was the colour palette for June, so that's what I'll be using from now on. So these were just some animal sketches, just in graphite. I think that's really nice. This is a bee on a flower, I think. This wasn't apparent to me at first glance when I saw it, so in case you were wondering, this one is a bee on a, on a flower. But just a few different creatures, I really like how I drew all of those, to be honest. Um, camels from the front look a little funky. And I think that this was, um, these were from some illustrator that I saw on Instagram, I think, who's doing comets, or maybe that was something else, but either way, um, I, I don't claim originality for any of this, <laughs> but I was, uh, experimenting with just outlines in blue ink. Must have been some kind of specific pen that I was using. Oh, wow. So apparently these colours really inspired me to do some kind of bold floral motif. So I think this was Tombow markers and these um, Stabilo Pen 68 pens. These just these felt tip pens, which I really, really like using. Still really like using those. Very satisfying to draw with. I don't know if these were from reference or just things that I came up with, but really like, I think I was exploring what the colours actually look like together and how they interact. I really love this dark red. That's like the one thing that I could take away from the colour palette this month. Really like this dark red, really like this lavender blue. Those are two colours which I really, really love on this page. Experimenting with ultramarine blue. So ultramarine blue might be my favourite colour to look at in the whole world. And I was um, experimenting with all of the different coloured, uh, all the different supplies I had that come in a colour that claims to be ultramarine to decide which ones that I like the best. I think I'm actually a little less picky now than I was back when I was doing... Um, this testing but I just looking at these it's really nice I also really like this typography that's really nice 
and experimenting with my with my pen 68 pens so it says here pen 68 in the corner so these were all the colors that i had um and what they were like next to each other the color families really like how i've laid this out it's good to just do some swatches sometimes when you can't think of anything to do and then i guess i took those uh colors from the previous page and i was like experimenting with which ones look good together which ones could be potential color palettes for the future Good references. I think I definitely end up using a couple of these. I really like this one right now. Ooh. See, I'm so glad that I, I'm always so glad that I do these uh, sketchbook tours because it really reminds me of everything I was doing before. I was trying to do some kind of watercolour cards. I think it must have been for my mum's birthday or father's day or both because those two events are quite close together in my calendar. And I was experimenting with some, some different bird designs. I really, really like this one. I, re I still really like all of these birds, actually. I'd love to make more um, designs based on this. And then this is the kind of colour palette that I was going for. So sort of going from this yellow to the deep blue via teal. Really, really like that. And I did end up making some final final pieces based on this that had watercolour. They were done with watercolour. I don't think I have them anymore, though, because I think I sent them to my parents. And these are just some swatches. So I must have had a haul from Rome and Schmoll, so my favourite brand of watercolours right now. Well, one of my favourite brands. And they come on this in this packaging that has the colour swatched on them. And so I think I, I always keep these and I would stick them in my sketchbook whenever I got them. This must have been a really good day. Look at all those colours that I bought. Wow, must have been like Christmas come early. Um, and just like my, yeah, so this was June 2022. And it's just me swatching, swatching out the colours that I already had and, uh, yeah, experimenting with creating new palettes. These colours look so nice together, especially this row. Really, really like those. So this is, like, really nice because it reminds me of when I was still... I still got to experience all these colours for the first time. And I kind of wish I could go back and do it all over again because it was really, really fun. More of these bold floral designs, so still sticking with sort of blocky style here, but then moving into more of a sort of shaded style. This may have been a study from some kind of Japanese art or something. I think these were probably from Pinterest. I really like how I did the shading on these, so like all the colours are blending in together. That's really, really nice coloured pencil blending. I don't know if I might have used another colour at some point in there, but I, I really like that the... the the, the flower part. I don't know if I love it with this blue as the background, funnily enough. And I really like the shading on these bells as well. Whales. Orcas. Just little graphite studies. <laughs> I think this is really the warm-up effect, huh? Because this is <laughs> my first whale versus my last whale. I think you can see a little bit of a difference there, right? Keep drawing. If your first drawing sucks, keep drawing. Um, and then all of these orcas are quite nice. They're really nice shapes, aren't they? I really like this one. So this was experimenting with soft pastels and some kind of some kind of water. Oh yeah, soft pastel and water experiments. So this page is just really, really messy. I think I must have got a. I think I was getting subscription boxes at the time, and one of my subscription boxes came with soft pastels. And so I was testing them out, seeing how they work. I must say, I never got into them. Really not my thing, soft pastels. And this may have been one of my first ever odd orange drawing sessions. One of the loosening up ones. Um, you can see odd orange art. Follow, um, that's a company that's run by Morgan Grice. And she makes amazing sketchbooks as well. So you should check her out on Instagram, just odd orange. Uh, or, or, odd orange stationery. Um, and so these were some of the sort of typical art exercises, continuous line, blind contour, that's a little bit cursed, huh? <laughs> blind contour cow looking even more cursed. <laughs> but yeah, this was definitely a loosening up session. That's freaking awful. But um, yeah, I, I really like these sessions as a way to use up uh, sketchbooks and this negative space monkey. Interesting. Interesting ideas. I quite like this sort of, I don't know if this is like an, a, some kind of tree. I think it was in Mexico. Um, but yeah, quite like the shapes of that. But these were all very, very quick. You can see that this was six minutes and that's like one of the longest ones that we did. So yeah, you really don't get a lot of time to do this, which is good because you don't get a lot of time to think about whether you like it or not. Um, and yeah, just a few more 
experiments with uh, floral compositions. I quite like the use of negative space here, though I think that this pen may have not been the best execution. And also the contrast. This this pencil is just really nice. This dark red colour. I really, really love it. It's drawing some artichokes. Artichokes are very, very graphic looking. I really like how these blue ones with the cross section and like the little fluffy insides. This would look nice on a this would look nice on like a greetings card or something, wouldn't it? Like a postcard. Artichoke's really beautiful. Some kind of um colour blindness test. A uh, picture for uh, just to use all of my colours for June one last time. So I think I did less, I used less of the sketchbook in June, which probably goes to show how much I preferred the May colours. Um, and then moving into July, choosing my part, choosing my colours and my supplies. You can read the supplies I was using here if you're interested. And immediately jumping into some studies. These were vintage Japanese fireworks illustrations or Chinese fireworks illustrations, I think. Um... I think they're public domain, um, but they had these really fun um, sort of designs on them. I really like the ones with the dark background, but I think I understand that I just didn't want to do the dark background on all of them. But really, really nice shapes and colours here. Some key studies, probably took these also from Pinterest and just drew them all on the same page. I actually really like these. This would be a fun print, wouldn't it, if I cleaned it up a little bit? And I think that these were more typography studies. I think they were from the uh, some music video. I think that there's a music video by Justice, which is one of my favorite groups, and they have like some really good. Uh, I think it's I think it's D A N C E the, the 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 music video, and they've got some really interesting typography. So I took the took took a few examples and copied them. A few of these medieval, uh, weird looking medieval plants. You can see the little faces in here. <laughs> I think that's really funny, funny little studies. And then this was also copied from, uh, well, a study, I would say, from Pinterest. I wasn't trying to, you know, replicate it and claim it as my own or anything. But I just think I just really liked the the use of shape and, and pattern here. Quite, quite nice. Um, a little, another brainstorming for a piece which I don't think ever really came, uh, came together in quite the same way, but I do still like it. And then some studies of icons. I think I was getting into graphic design more at this time. And so I was looking very interested in icons and very minimal shapes and, uh, how to put them together. So these were some circular compositions. And then I think these were more icons. So like, but with more shaded compositions, using my colour pencils. Quite interesting. And then these were some um, crow raven studies. Um, I mean, I was using, again, so much like on the first page where I had this uh, shading from light to dark, I was interested in applying this, I think, but using the ink tense pencil. So this is just one ink tense pencil. And I was experimenting with which parts would be dark, which parts would be light and the overall shape of the bird. Really like looking at these. Oh, this is good, isn't it? This is really good. This is, I, I love these bunnies. They're so cute and these raccoons. And I think it's really nice that I did the background in as well. And I think that I dropped some water on this afterwards because it's some kind of water-based marker. So oh, that's just really, <laughs> that's just really good. I really love this page. I think this might be my favourite page. Maybe I'll make this a thumbnail. You probably saw that already then. But I, I really, really like this, these, these studies. And this was me experimenting with just different shapes. How to... How many vertices, it says. So I was thinking about like how many corners, how many sides of a shape, and then what that shape would look like. Um, and then some lobster studies. I really like this guy. It's really, really good. I think I did like a, some kind of, I developed this a little bit further actually. Maybe we'll see on the next page, but I really, really like these, uh, these studies. Yeah. So this was the proof of concept for this. I was doing this painting where I wanted to overlay the pattern of the water. So like when you look through water, there's like the light from the ripples and I wanted to superimpose this over the lobster. Can't remember if I still have that final piece somewhere. Probably do. Um, some kind of Japanese vintage illustrations that I was studying. I think that was actually from Instagram, Nihon Kosho. Should check that out. 
more colour palettes. So this must have been the end of July going into August. And looking at the colour palettes for August, I really, really like this again. <laughs> this is really, really good. I really like these. And then a another Roman Schmoll uh, Aquarius haul. Sorry, I ordered some again at the end of July. It's pretty restrained. And I think that you can definitely see that there was a colour palette that I was going for here. I really, really like these colours together as well. And these were all of my all of my tests for August colour palette. And then a little bit simpler uh, for my July to August uh, changeover spread. Um, some more of these bold floral designs. Do I love them? Not really. Uh, am I glad I did them? Yeah, sure, why not? Um, oh wait, look, I referenced something here. I really like these shapes, but I, I just don't think it's my style. Drawing some eyes. Oh yeah, 1943 cataract illustrations, apparently. Don't really know uh, what to make of that, but um, yeah, again, really glad that I did them. I think they look really nice in these, in these colours. And this is really fun with the overlapping shapes using the colours from my August colour palette. Really recommend doing this as an exercise. Another odd orange session, right? So I must have done this before the odd orange session, I think. I remember as like a warm-up. And then we did some... I think these were National Geographic illustrations. But yeah, just a very... Just a, just in coloured pencil, apparently. I like quite like this lady with her flower stand. And then... <laughs> this. I don't know what's going on here, but I love it. I think these were studies I did by myself afterwards, actually. With different, um... oh no, maybe this was part of the order orange session, but these were the references that um, Morgan that said that she used. Quite like this drawing too, this guy. Studies of letters often comes uh, up in my sketchbooks, ready to use Art Deco initials. It was probably a book on archive.org that I was looking at. Really, really like all of these, this one particularly. And a couple more portrait attempts. Probably from Pinterest. Um, I don't know. I don't think portraits are really my thing. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, but they're not terrible. Not terrible. Not not great. Not terrible. Um, just a little unrefined, I guess. And here I said I was working on compositions again. So I think what I was doing was I was looking at really old paintings and trying to like trying to very briefly gesture in with a very thick graphite pencil what the shape of the composition is, where the dark parts were in the in the values of the painting, um, which I think is quite interesting. And I, as you can see, I really did like a lot <laughs> of these, and these would be really good to go back to and reference a little bit more, I think, just to understand a little bit better what compositions people are using and how things are laid out. I think it's very interesting. I really like this page, actually. I think about this page a lot. I should uh, bookmark it, so I remember where it is. Ah, so I think I got my Pentel pocket brush. Uh, a lot of people use this pen. It's, um, oh, I have it right here. So it's a, yeah, pen by Pentel, and it has this brush tip. And you use uh, ink cartridges with it, so it's really fun to use. And I was doing these kind of very black and white sort of value study illustrations. Um, from this page, I really, really like this with the hands. Really love how this turned out. Um, not sure I could replicate it. Some of them a little less impressive. <laughs> not really sure what's going on here, but you know, I guess that's just how it is. But I, I, I like this page as a whole. It has a vibe that I enjoy. Experimenting with more of these sort of folk art style illustrations. So this is from Mogodog, probably on Instagram or Pinterest and from a, from someone else I'm really sorry I can't reference all these people but at least <laughs> you know that this wasn't me this wasn't me this is probably from some kind of embroidery pattern uh, guide I find that those are also really interesting places to reference and um, so really enjoying seeing these colors together actually this is a really really nice color palette and I really like these shapes as well a few more uh, landscapes also from Unsplash, so a, a royalty-free photo website, and then he was trying to make them a little bit more abstract. Definitely needs work, but it's the beginning of something. I could definitely do something like this again, I think. 
come to think of it, I should probably do that. And this was studying tiles from Pinterest, so more of this sort of just composition and abstract shapes and interplay between colours. I really like this sort of monochromatic row by row tile thing I've got going on. The green ones, I think, are my favourites. Um, thinking about my September colour palettes, it wasn't quite time to use it yet. So this was the 30th of August, so I guess I was thinking about it for the next uh, couple days. And I think I was going to go from keeping the blues uh, from my and the and the warm uh, browns from my August color palette, but adding uh, purple in instead of this green, which I quite like too. I think that was, I think I said in my video about it that this was one of my favorites actually. It's interesting how our color preferences change over time as well. Ah, this was embroidery patterns. This says Pinterest embroidery patterns. I I really like that I left these notes for myself. <laughs> Makes my life a lot easier, but I was doing these in um, in coloured pencil. I think that the previous ones were in pen. Yeah, so these were in pen. These are in... Oh. These were in coloured pencil. So a little bit more detail, a little bit more subtlety. Still really, really like all of these compositions. And I guess this all sort of like passively contributes to my to my art style like I don't remember doing this but the fact that I did it probably means that it's in my muscle memory somewhere I think this is some kind of vintage illustration of a of a hand dropping some like I don't know must be some magnesium powder or something into a flame and making these sparkles and I did this in colored pencil just using three different colors really like this actually I really really like this I should do I should adapt this into something else maybe my phone lock screen or something this was from some, it's called Nemfrog. I think Nemfrog is actually quite a famous blog on Tumblr, but a lot of their posts end up on uh, Pinterest as well. So Joshua trees, apparently. So there was a study of Joshua trees in the desert. And then some more embroidery patterns, also from Nemfrog, apparently. Good resource for reference pictures if you're into the same things as me. And we're really coming into the last few pages of this sketchbook, I think. So I think I was getting a little bit lazy. I started, uh, did a couple of dragon sketches. When I was younger, I used to really enjoy drawing dragons. So I guess I tried again. Must say, didn't hit quite the same now. I think I might be out of my dragon phase, but I do enjoy these ones. Got a new uh, drawing ink, one of the Windsor and Newton ones. And I did this kind of, this kind of shape with it, which I think must also have been referenced from somewhere. But I like the idea that you draw like one line and then you draw like a wavy line and then you draw lines collecting, connecting your your lines. I think that that's a really, really cool idea. It could also work if this line wasn't straight, I suppose. It would be fun to experiment with some of that in my sketchbook when I need a break. And then I think I must have finished up my sketchbook with this. Well, no, not finished the sketchbook. But this was another odd orange drawing session, so just sketching some animals. I think this must have been an animals drawing session. Really love this dog. He's great. Um, and the little family of bears in the woods. <laughs> and there's a very surprised looking cat with a very short tail. I, I really love doing these quick sketches. It's been a while since I managed to make it to an odd orange drawing session. Um, I'm hoping I'll be able to make it to the next one at the end of August, but yeah. Life do be like that sometimes, but I also really enjoy seeing all these colours together. Little mushroom illustration studies. I think this might actually have been from a reference book that I have. Um, I have like a little field guide to mushrooms, and sometimes when I don't know what to draw, I look into the book and draw some things from the book. Different star shapes, experimenting with different styles of drawing stars. Quite interesting, I think. I would actually like to do this again as well. Maybe I just need to go back and repeat some of the things that I did before. And I think this was the end. I don't think I did anything fancy with the end. So the back page was just me swatching all of my, uh, well, some of my different materials just to get a feeling of how they work on the paper. I will say, watercolour does work really well on this paper. I would actually recommend it. Uh, also in their alpha sketchbook, which is the same paper, just white instead of cream. So yeah, I didn't do it much in this sketchbook, but I would recommend it. It works really well. And then I just did these tiny little... Low-key illustrations on the 11th of uh, September. I guess I was like, well, I can't leave a whole empty spread. So better. <laughs> better fill it up somehow. So, yeah, sorry for the slightly anticlimactic ending. You'll have to let me know whether this is how you use your sketchbook, how your sketchbook practice is going. 
you know, what you've uh, been up to lately, if you have any recommendations, uh, what your favourite page was in this sketchbook. And thank you so much for watching. A reminder again, please do like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Really, really helps my channel out. And I will be back in two weeks with another video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all later. Bye.